Okay. So we have our asset. Let's say you want to change the material of this floor. So what you will do is to triangle select, select by UV Iceland, and you can click all the UV Icelands that are connected to this part. Just like this. Okay. You can create a polygroup if you want. Click accept. Okay. And what you can do is actually change the material. So if we go here to materials, attributes, let's choose material edit. You can do the same operations actually. You can click by UV Iceland or you can click by all in group here, which is the group we created. And you can see we can add materials here. You can click add and we have a new material. It's just, just for the sake of demonstration, let's just put the material gray. And now what we can do is change the selected material to use the index one. Index zero is our previous material. Index one is our new material. And what we can do is assign selected material. Okay. Notice that if you click here, uh, it's not what you click, it's the number that is here. So here is one. So click assign. And you will see I assign a new material on this one. Click accept. And now my mesh is using a new material. How cool is that? And you can do the same and apply different materials. Like if you don't like this one, let's just check a rock here, something like this. I don't know. And you can apply different materials very easy to your surfaces. This is especially useful when you want to apply tiling materials to a baked mesh and you want some areas of it to have like rocks or something like that. Say this one. Let's go to our surfaces. Let's go to this one. This one makes more justice. And we can actually change the UVs here. The transform UVs. You can check this one and you can transform this just like this. You can put different UVs here. Okay. We will move to UVs later, but um, for now, this is the way you can assign different materials. 